Hey, what's going on? Once again, this is Hashim Whitmore, and you are tuned in to Sheem TV, your source of positivity and inspiration. Today, we're talking about you because you are important and you have value, and your dreams have value, and your life has value, and every moment that you're living has an extreme amount of value because every moment that you're living, that's what the vibration that you're in, the state of being that you're in, the attitude that you're in. Is shaping your whole world. And so if you have 60 seconds, I wanted to go into a little bit further into this topic. And this topic is contrast and clarity. See, oftentimes um, we reach a certain level or we get into a relationship and we're very excited and happy about um, the relationship or the, the position. And then over time, uh, we start finding things that we don't like about it, you know, or and that we want to change or we want to move on. And all that really took place at the core is that you grew. You grew in your perspective. You reached a certain level. And now that you're at that level, you can see more about what you want and what you don't want. That's why it's, it's good to experience life. It's good to date. It's good to have all these different jobs because during that process, you're gaining more clarity through each contrast and situation. You say, well, you know what? I like a job that I can work with people. Uh, I like a job that uh, does sales or does not do sales. I like a relationship that we do taco night on Tuesday or we do exercise together. You find out all these different contrasting situations or contrasting preferences that works best for you. See, what trips us up is often that the thing that gave us that clarity, whether it's that relationship that's not fulfilling or maybe that job that is now not fulfilling, uh, we take that and say, well, we spent all this time and I found out what I really want. Now it's That person or that job or that city or town that you're in, it's their responsibility to change to satisfy my new preference. And that that right there, that's what trips us up because it makes us resentful that somebody isn't changing to make us happy. And we become unhappy because the job hasn't changed or the relationship hasn't changed or the situations haven't changed to make us happy. And the thing that was is really constant is that we're growing in real changing and we're becoming more clear about what we want. So if you could only if you could only do this one thing is when you find out what you want through whatever contrast and situation that you're going in or living in, instead of asking that thing to change, just start looking towards that direction of the thing that you want. Start becoming more of that person that appreciates uh, long walks or appreciates being recognized at work or appreciates uh, having uh, somebody to do certain things with. Whatever it is, start looking for ways to appreciate that in the morning. It might be writing writing it out or speaking it out or even just uh, speaking about the things that you love and like about the position that you're in right now. See, every time you do that, You set a whole different course of energy out there. That means you're becoming something new. Not only do you want it, now that you're becoming a person that's appreciating it. And what you appreciate, you get more of. So the key is to find the things that you want. Start appreciating it already in your life. Don't worry if, if it's a little bit challenging to see at first. Give it some time. Go general. Going general is sometimes the best thing that you can do because not always the best feeling that you can have when you're looking at that person that pisses you off or uh, is not satisfying you or not spending the time or meeting your love language in some sort of way. 
But if you could start appreciating um, general things about the situation, start appreciating that um, you will or you are having a relationship that is going to be uh, loving, joyful. You are having a job that's going to have passion and value because in time, you'll be vibrating on that level. And anything that's not vibrating on that same level will leave your experience. So you don't have to fight. You don't have to argue. You don't have to change. Either it will match your level or it will leave your experience. And then something that you do want will match it. That's why if you ever notice when somebody has been looking for a job and then they finally like, get positive and it, it, one job happens they release that resistance they're feeling good then a whole bunch of jobs come in just like when you get out of uh, a good uh, like a, a bad relationship change your mindset of what you expect and start seeing yourself with it then that person shows up but the key is you have to change because if you don't change you're just going to be bringing the same energy to a new situation and then you complete the cycle with a different face a different place and just goes over and over again so change the way that you feel go general focus on the things that make you happy live your life to the fullest live your life in the now and don't get mad at the contrast for giving you clarity about what you want move forward love yourself love one another and until next time, this is Hashim Whitmore. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Love you.